Okay, you are fanatics. You're probably wondering why you're looking at my grill. But this video is supposed to be about prodiamine and the benefits of it. And how it's going to keep those weeds out your lawn. This video is about that, but my Falcons just lost, so I got a late start on my grill. But that's why you see that. But yeah, this video is not about how to make a slab of real. Yeah, this video is about how to apply prodiamine in your fall application. And what's this? You're chilling with BYD. What does that stand for? Big Yard Dog. You are watching Bermuda Grad Central, changing the world one yard at a time. Okay, yard fanatics, look. If you don't know what this is, this is one of those SA face shields. I did a uh, review on it, and I'm actually I, I had it on all day, and I used it, and I just been field testing it, and um works pretty good now it, yeah it's hard to breathe with it but it works pretty good but it's not about the face shield even though i'll have it on during the video i'm hoping i'm not sound muffled guys this video is about prodiamine you know if you don't know what prodiamine is prodiamine is basically a herbicide that's a pre-emergent that's supposed to prevent weeds from coming up in your yard and how does that work when you apply this to your your lawn or to the soil once it gets in the soil and you have seeds that start to hatch, it retards the growth of them. It root curls them. It slows them down. It damages them. That way you won't have that many weeds in your lawn. But remember, your fall application of prodiamine is not to prevent crabgrass. Your spring application is, but not your fall. Your fall application is to prevent winter weeds. And one of the main ones is poana. But guys, we're going to do a little something special with this one, all right? So check so it out. I'm just going to show you three things. And like I said, this video is it's going to be quick, but it's just basically showing you how to apply it to your, your lawn. Now, things that you will need, you don't necessarily need a dye, but I'm going to go ahead and put some down so I know where I'm spraying. You're going to need your Prodiamine, and this is Prodiamine 65 WDG. All right, and if you're gonna spike your lawn with a weed kill, now this is a store-bought brand. Um, what is it? Um, Spectricide with Nut Sage Killer. Remember these instruction guys. If you are spiking this, you're not gonna spike according to direction. You're just gonna put maybe two or three ounces in there in a four gallon container. You should have already treated your weeds before you actually do this. But if you didn't, you can spike it. Now, I will put a link up of a video I did that shows you the complete process of how to apply it, how to mix it, and everything, okay? But this video is just going to be a basic one to show you a September application of Prodiamine. All right, and if you don't know what it looks like, that is Prodiamine, guys. We're going to have to mix that in a four-gallon well not necessarily a gallon four gallon but a gallon back sprayer if you are a novice if you are not a novice you can go with any size you want okay and guys the first thing you're gonna have to do you're gonna have to go ahead and measure off your lawn and this is a basic basic measuring wheel picked up at home depot for about i think 30 35 or 40 bucks and uh, let's go ahead and get the square footage of the part that I'm going to measure. And let me show you what I'm going to measure. I'm only doing the back of my lawn. <clears throat> We're not doing the front. We're only doing the back. But if you don't know how to get your square footage, I have a video for that also. But basically, it's length times width equals square footage. So let's go ahead and get the square footage, okay? Okay, guys, if you over apply Prodiamine, basically the only thing that's going to happen, you may have some root damage, all right? And if you notice, I mentioned that 007, let's go. That 7% potassium is basically for that, to help with the root damage if you have any, okay? Now, earlier I did apply a high potassium fertilizer to mine was 18018. So we still have some of that in the soil. So guys, yeah, it's not gonna hurt it that bad. Listen, the max is 0.83. If I'm going 0.40 per thousand square feet, I don't have to worry about going over. Even if I went 
0.45 it's not gonna hurt it at all okay so I'm not more concerned with it during the winter it's the spring when I'm worried about you over applying that prodiamine so let's go ahead and get the measurements for this and I'll show you the math yard fanatics look I got the math on that it was 150 inches long and we'll do the math right up here and it was 70 inches wide so I multiplied a 150 times the 70 and I get a total square footage of 9,800 all right BYD is gonna round up and we're gonna act like this is 10,000 square feet I'm gonna use my steel SG 20 backpack sprayer that can hold over four gallons but we're gonna keep it at four gallons so I know I have to use it two times and a half that means I have to use it twice well I'm gonna actually use it three times but I had to fill it up twice with four fill it up again with four after I use it then two um, gallons all right now what I'm gonna do is add 0.4 ounce of prodiamine for every gallon of water that I put in there that would represent a 0.4 application per 1,000 square feet per one gallon of water so the con the entire container of the S steel SG 20 I'm going to apply 4 times 0.4 which is 1.6 ounces of prodiamine to that now guys remember in the video I have a scale Fluid ounces and the weighed powdered ounces are totally different. So you can't take a three ounce uh, measurement of prodiamine with a um, fluid ounce measurement and you're putting down. You'll have to get a scale. If you look at this video, all that is explained. All right. So basically what I'm going to do now is go ahead and mix it up and I'm going to apply the prodiamine to my lawn. Okay. Okay, y'all fanatics, I added that um, 1.6 ounces of prodiamine to my four gallons of uh, water, my backpack sprayer. I also added a laser dye. All right, all this stuff can be found on eBay or Amazon, all right? One thing I want to caution you with, this dye is real nasty. And basically it says you can use two to three ounces, uh, well, one uh, ounce per gallon. That makes the best sense. So remember, the more of this stuff you add, the darker it will be, the longer it's gonna last. But you have some guys on the internet pouring this shit, excuse me, pouring this stuff in buckets. This stuff is messy. The easiest way to do it is to get your sprayer, pour it in there, close the lid, and spray. Do not add this to a bucket and switch it over and pour it in all other kinds of containers to apply this product to your lawn because you're gonna be in for a big mess. Make sure you have glasses on, I mean, excuse me, gloves on. This is non-toxic. It'll wash off, but if it gets on your skin, it's gonna take a couple of days to get off, all right? So the easiest way, just to pour it right on in from the container. Most of the containers you order will have the ounces on the side. So you just basically, if you hold it up to the sun, you can see through it and pour it in there that way. Don't keep transferring this stuff Two and three times because you're gonna make a mess, all right. So I've already did that. Let's pump it up. Let's get your fanatics. Look, I got my one on my backpack sprayers on my back, and I'm gonna go ahead and spray. I know that I can do at least almost half of my backyard with this four gallon backpack sprayer. If you are a novice, I also recommend it that you just get a one gallon pump sprayer and you do it 1,000 square feet at a time that way you apply the correct amount now if you don't add a dye to your lawn i mean excuse me to your um chemical your predominantly will be spraying yellow all right you see it's kind of starting off yellow but you'll see the color change that's the dye right there all right so we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do this and like I said I like to walk backwards with it the reason I like to walk backwards with it is because I'm not walking in all right and when I get through my yard will have a bluish tint to it it's not gonna be deep deep super deep blue 
but you'll be able to tell the difference. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and fast motion this so you guys see how BYD gets it done. Okay, yard fanatics, look. If you look, you can see that bluish tint on the lawn. Now remember, when you're using marker dye, marker dye is not for you to be painting the grass totally blue. I mean, a deep shade of blue is cute, but it's a waste of money. The marker dye is only there to help you locate where you did not spray. It's not for you to saturate the entire yard and turn it to a different color. And this side has been treated and I know I'm getting the guys to say, BYD, I still got some left in there. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, I still got some left in there. What do I do? Take that and spray it back over the yard. Try to do it evenly, though. Try to do the whole yard evenly until you run that completely out. Guys, it's not going to be exact. You're not going to be able to dig up the dirt and say I got 0.4 here, 0.38 here, 0.52 here. It's, it's not going to, it doesn't work like that. What you want to do is make sure you get this sprayed <clears throat> and watered in. Now, if you watch my past videos, I recommend it that you water your lawn 24 to 48 hours before you do any type of application, including this. You got another choice. Will Mother Nature help you rain this in, or will you have to use the water hose? More than likely, I'm going to have to use the water hose because we had not had rain in like 40 days, guys, 40 days. That side has been treated. You see that bluish dye? This side has not been treated, okay? We're about to do this side also. But like I said, get it sprayed down and get it watered in. If you spiked your prodiamine with any kind of weed kill, read the directions on when the bottle says you're supposed to water that particular product in. Because if I had to spike this with that um, Target 6 Plus with MSA, it says wait 24 hours. Some products say three hours, eight hours, just depend on the product that you are using to know when to water it in. If you just went straight to Prodiamine, go ahead and water it in right after you apply it. Now I get the question, should you add a surfactant? No, don't add a surfactant, okay? Do not add a surfactant to this. Let it water itself in. If you are using a product that has a surfactant in it, then you can go ahead and use it. Just note that it's going to take a little bit more water to get it to come off the foliage. All right, so let's, let's, let's finish this side up over here. Okay, you are finax and that's pretty much it you know once you get it sprayed down go ahead and water it in um, how long should you water it in this depends on you but if you really want to give it at least 30 minutes or you can follow my drop watering thing water it to uh, almost the point of runoff all right so that right there will lock it in once you water it in it's going to get down in the soil and that's going to help prevent weeds from germinating and making your yard look ugly when spring comes because your winter weeds will start to germinate now, but they will appear in early spring. And that poana, nobody wants that. Okay, yard fanatic, now you know how to put down your fall prodiamine application. All right, if this video was helpful, please hit the thumbs up and make sure that you subscribe. Oh, and I forgot one thing. Remember, you are tuned into Bermuda Grass Central with BYD. This is Michael Bowman, and I'll talk to you soon.